help. Come, stand near me. No, Moshai. Save your strength. That's my decision to make. I'm moving forward. Follow me. I'm sorry we fought. <sighs> what we saw will set our cause on fire. Yes. My broken heart can't even process it. Lexi, can you give us a minute? Sure thing. But go gentle. She's in a fragile state. Did she just call me frail? Fragile. Jal says you're a pathfinder from the Milky Way. Do you feel up for a talk? Ah, 
So now you value what I have to say? I did what I thought was right. I'm good with that. You'll understand then when it's time for me to do what I think is right. So, the facility, what's the purpose of all that? They call it exaltation. They believe that those they exalt are given a great gift. Gift? They snatch us, defile and shatter us. All the ones we love, I... I, I can't. It's a complex genetic construct. An interchange of traits that the Ket use to advance their species. So they steal genes. But why? Reproduction. Domination. Tyranny. Annihilation. Yes, and yet, the Archon didn't take me to his ship to transform me. I hung immobile, tormented, never sleeping, brought to him on a whim. He showed me remnant tech and beat me when I wouldn't speak. Oh no. Remnant, of course. He's obsessed. Like you are. Yes, Jal told me. You rescued me hoping to get into Aya's vault. My people have traveled so far. We'll die without a place to settle. These remnant vaults may be the key. A key to help both our species prosper. I feel for your people in a way that you clearly do not for mine. But emotion must never get in the way of science. I'll take you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Moshe Sefer. I'm happy to answer any other questions for you, Pathfinder. Anytime. Involved. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two hour argument yesterday and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? Five time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. Read the mission later. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do. It turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to. Take the collateral damage. I hope it doesn't come to that. But exaltation seems almost worse. If he has his way, there won't be anyone left to save. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly, each and every time. Another galaxy, and there are still despots. We saw similar types back when I worked as a peacekeeper. Pirates attacking the colonies. We trained the colonists, and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon... He's got an army to back up his crazy. But I've got you, 
and everyone else on board. Huh. True enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep. So when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Exploring the Exaltation Facility brings a Salarian quote to mind. We uplifted desperate souls into weapons, and know not what we destroyed. That's a fair description of Exaltation. I have changed since we linked, but I am still myself. Exaltation takes personhood and overwrites it, destroys it. I already understood that such destruction is wrong. Now, through you, I know why it is abhorrent. Sam, any more information on the memory trigger we found? A memory has unlocked, and is available for further investigation. You will need to return to Sound Node in the Hyperion. Are you still on the Hyperion? Yes, this terminal provides a direct link to my servers in Sound Node on the Ark. I can maintain a presence on the Tempest via quantum entanglement communication. I'm sure that'll come in handy. It ensures I remain in touch with you and the Pathfinder team at all times. What was Dad's take on Scott and I? He believed your family trials brought you closer together, and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well founded. Is it confusing to be in multiple places talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give you the same attention as, say, a SAM node technician. In the field, you are my primary focus, and all other requests are queued. In the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. What was Dad's take on Scott and I? He believed you. It appears that hope was well founded. So if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes, lighten things up. How's your sense of humor, Sam? Alec Ryder encouraged me to develop this skill. Humor's not a skill, it's... Okay, try telling me a joke. A Neutron enters a bar and asks, How much is a drink? The bartender replies, For you, no charge. I can see why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more.
You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Production and cat exaltation are similar in a lot of ways. I can see it. The cat take other species' genes. Asari take other species' traits. Phoebe, don't tell me we actually agree on something. Changed my mind. They're nothing alike. <sighs> Ryder, Exaltation? I never imagined we were fighting Angara. It kills me to think about it. We have to stop the Archon, whatever he's up to. The more we learn, the more I realize how much bigger than me this all is. It's humbling. I like it when you flirt. I wouldn't want you to stop. Have I flirted with you? <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. They aren't just conquerors or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. It's too late for the Exalted. We can't let feelings get in the way. That's what gets me. The Exalted aren't converts. They're Ket. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research Exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. If his experience fell through, he always had smarts to fall back on. And now... Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The Initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're flying blind. It'll take years to put all the pieces back together. Our biggest headache is the Ket. Work goes on, I guess. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. Joel? Thank you for checking. But I'm... all right. Don't know if I would be. I have to be. How else do we go on? You know? I may seem tough, but I have a good shoulder. That's... kind. You're... kind. I really miss my family at times like these. Are you close to your family? I was. Am. My mom and dad are dead. My brother's in a medically induced coma. I'm kind of an orphan at the moment. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, this random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah. I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is... Not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be. I like having you around. Specifically you. Because of my skill and knowledge? Not really. Because you enjoy spending time with me as much as I do with you. You do? Yes. You're fascinating. And special. And strange. Aw, oh, thanks. And I mean it. Oh, 
Gallo, settle down. If this isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? Best friend? Oh, Callow. Callow's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. Your outpost, Prodromos, is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? We could go, but we need to balance our priorities. Why? Just saying, if I created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slide. Now you're just playing with me. So, radiation levels are down. More to explore? I yes, but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. Oh, the ship manual's useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't just meddle with... I got this ship launch ready in record time, Kalo. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Callo. Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. The swelling has gone down significantly, and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated. And remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? Have you ever heard of the Lick Test? Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? <sighs> I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research and your father's. AI and implants, they achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me, and then lived out their lives while I slept. If you think that means you're alone, you're wrong. Thank you. You saying that means the world to me. I'll take comfort in the people I've met here. And if you ever need me, I'm here for you too. Old Orbit is steady.
Whoa, it's the Pathfinder. It's me. You're the one who befriended these strange new people, these Angara, and now they're here, on the Nexus. How do we know we can trust them? I mean, for certain. Remember, we're the strangers. This is their home, and they've welcomed us. They've earned our trust. I guess. Talk to them. Get to know them. See for yourself. Good advice. I will. Okay, sending the override command. The stasis pod should start unlocking. You're really doing this? I was at the protest in hydroponics. I thought we'd just get more excuses. But we already lost a year waiting for our families. I'm glad it's time. Things will be lean for a while. The new mouths to feed. But you're out there. We'll manage somehow. My mom was scared something would go wrong and she'd be awake in stasis all that time. She isn't... It doesn't work like that, but I... Just want her out, so I know. Override complete. Stasis revival triggered on the Nexus. The Jasper K. Griffith G. Hilkvist A. Demerchi P. Kozlov S. There! That's her! Why are you still here? Go be the face your mom wakes up to. I will. Thank you. Given new resource allocation, personnel in stasis on the Hyperion may now be required to wait longer. When it's time, you'll have a home to wake up to. I promise. Hello again, Pathfinder. How are we doing on the viability front? Struggling. Need I remind you that viability isn't abstract, it's lives, our foothold. Get out there, Ryder. Pathfind. We're dying. How has the Nexus reacted to the foothold I've established? We send them where you signal, because that's where the need is. There's no time for preference. Director Addison. Goodbye, Pathfinder. <laughs> 